I literally love these jeans though. They are American Eagle or the um, artist style jeans. So comfy. I have my Uggs and um, just a little popover sweater. Look, right bud? Right. literally obsessed with these popcorner chips like these are like so freaking good I, I know I'm gonna eat so much of this that I'm gonna get sick of it but honestly I don't think I could even get sick of these because they're just so yummy um, clearly I like them a lot I ran to Dollar Tree and got like four bags so yeah it's pretty good um, I would really suggest trying it it's at Dollar Tree for a buck a bag so Go get you some. It's so delicious, man. And I think you can buy like the big bags in like, you know, normal grocery stores. But if you just want to have like a quick fix, like this is just like addictive, dog. So good. It's like the perfect mix of like crunchy, soft, airy, sweet, and then like salty all in one like little cracker. It's just so good. I said that like a lot of times now, so I'm going to stop. I, I promise. So this is pretty much how it goes. He acts like he's never eaten before in his life and I end up falling for it and giving him more food than I know I should be giving him. So here I go. <laughs> I feel like trying to portion him out is just not working because every time he'll eat this in like three minutes straight, like three minutes less than that sometimes. And then he'll come back and just be like looking at me just like he did just now, begging me for more food. It's like kind of ridiculous. So on that note, I need to eat something myself. I am going to be eating some frozen food, um, but I'm going to try and season it up so it tastes pretty decent. Um, so I still have some leftover chicken um, it's like orange chicken, um, so yeah, I'm going to do that. And then I had some leftover um, steamable um, string beans or whole green beans. I'm going to kind of sprinkle that in there just for a little bit of added crunch and some greenness um in there. I feel like that's going to make it a little bit more healthy for me. Not a lot, but like I feel like it needs a little bit of veggie in there. So. I'm going to be doing that and then I'm going to be to be cooking up some rice in the rice cooker as well to go with it. Um, just some plain white rice, you know, just to go with that. And then every time I kind of cook, at least now, I'm trying to make a habit to catch up on a few of the books I purchased. This one I bought uh, maybe a couple months ago and this is the title of it here. Uh, it's the subtle art of not giving a bleep. Yeah, very interesting title. Um, and the book is really good. Like it really breaks down a lot of stuff um, that you really don't think about in a certain way. And it really helps put things in perspective. I read it quite a bit during you know, my work breaks and stuff like that. You know, some knowledge, you know what I mean? So I'm doing that while I'm cooking. Again, what, what, hey, hey, didn't you just eat? Didn't you just eat, buddy? Huh? Why, why are you back over here? You just ate food. You've had a lot of food. Don't try and play me right now. Huh? Buddy, what? Let, let's take a look. Let's take a look. You already ate the food? That fast? Let's get you some water because I feel like you probably need water at this point. And yeah, he's like, <laughs> did you see that? He just pawed at his food dish like, what? What? So I'm just cleaning up a little bit here. This happens when you have a dog. He knocks over your pillows and all that stuff. And his toys end up here when they shouldn't be here. Funny. 
morning. And I just want to keep that like positive trajectory going. Like I want to keep doing even more like really cool, awesome stuff with my personal life. I really want to travel more because generally speaking, I haven't done a lot of traveling like I wanted to. Um, I want to go on a cruise coming up in 2020. I want to get back in school um, so I can, you know, really get a good position with my company. I just want to get more income coming in. I have so much I'm doing, guys. Like, I have a business. I have my photography business, so I'm trying to grow that gradually um, and grow clientele for that. Um, so also I want to go to school for like business, um, marketing, stuff like that that could apply to my job um, at, you know, I don't want to say the company, um, but I work for a financial um, planning group basically that sells like life insurance policies and stuff like that. It's pretty decent paying, so I'm able to do all the things I do now, um, but to get a higher position in the company, obviously you need education, you know, to back that. So. Um, and then as far as a treat for myself, I've thought about it so, so much. A new car is always nice, um, but for myself personally, something I've wanted to do for a while is get my boobs done. <clears throat> um, I wanted to get a breast augmentation for some time, and I went to a consultation earlier on in the year, I believe right at the end of summer um, of 2019, and I was just so, like trying on the different sizes, I wish I would have vlogged it. Um, I really wanted to get a breast augmentation for no other reason, but it would just make me happy. I've been through a really bad breakup, guys. Like, I haven't done a lot for myself. And as far as, like, body image, like, I just want to feel good about myself again. Like, I want to do something nice for myself, for me, um, that I've always wanted to do. And that I could have done so long ago, but I've just been, you know, tied up into all this other emotional, emo crap. Huh? Look at him. 